everyone, Shelly Royal, registered dietitian nutritionist with Eat Live Be Well Nutrition. What I want to mention today is something that I tend to ask people quite a bit, and a lot of times people don't always think about this. When it comes to food, when it comes to making food choices, what drives those food choices for you personally? We have a lot of things in our life that influence our food choices. And a lot of people don't always think about this. And it may not always be necessary, but it is something I encourage people to consider of what is behind us making various food choices. One of the reasons I ask this is that a lot of times people tend to make choices about their food without even thinking about it, which isn't really a big deal for the most part unless it is working against our overall health. So there are dozens of things that we could come up with if we brainstormed about those things that drive our food choices. I've mentioned this on a regular basis. I do teach college classes part-time. And anytime, anytime somebody has taken a nutrition class from me, especially in the in-person classes, because I also teach online, our first day is spent brainstorming those things that drive our food choices. And the discussion is always so fascinating to me because as we think about it a little bit, so many things come up. So one of the things, or I should say some of the things that come up, they tend to cluster together. So in some cases, it's things like our culture, societal, family, religious background, norms. So when I say cultural, it could be we come from various backgrounds, and that could be different regions of the country or different regions of the world. One of the examples I say in the United States, if you mention barbecue sauce, that's going to vary so much by what region of the country that you're in. Cultural, religion, family, these tend to overlap. There's things where it's rude to not accept food from family members. On the other side of things, it could be cost, food availability. Some people live in food deserts where the ability to get access to healthy food is significantly limited. It could be education, and that does not mean necessarily whether somebody has a college degree or even a high school degree, but the knowledge with regard to how to cook food. Other things, it could be mood, boredom, happiness. Those things drive our food choices. One of the biggest things, though, and this is what a lot of people don't think about, the number one thing that drives our food choices is taste. Whether we like the taste of something or not will determine whether we eat it or not. Seems so obvious once you know it, but not everybody thinks about this. Tell me. What drives your food choices? It could be so many different things and so many things I haven't even mentioned here. I'd love for you to comment about that, like this post, share it with other people. I'd love to hear what some of those things are that drive your food choices. Take care. Bye now.